Hey there everyone, I'm Bulky Fenerite, and welcome back to Tales of Destiny! Last time we basically had a story time, where I explained why there hasn't been an episode in a while. Okay, I wasn't really proud of that video, there was uh, way too much talking not about the game. <laughs> but, also, in the game, we made Radisol fly, and it looked surprisingly cool actually. <laughs> And today, we are gonna explore this new LAN. Well, this new dungeon at least, called... The Ignacy. Now, you can probably already tell that the... Uh, the design of the dungeon here is a little bit different from what we are used to. Remember, the uh, Aetherians was supposed to be the... Uh, well, the Celestians of this game, I guess. These are... The Aetherians were the uh, technical ones, where the Earther... The Earthers, or whatever they were called, the Earth people were... Well, basically cave people. <laughs> so, yeah, you should probably get ready to see some... Uh, very different type of enemies. Oh, well... <laughs> speaking of which... Let's see! We have... The Plancetta, the Healer, and the Dark Mage. Yeah, that's uh, that's very uh, creative naming of you, I will say. Dark Mage and Healer. Yeah, I wonder what they do. <laughs> yeah, okay, fine. So, the Dark Mage will be casting pretty powerful spells at you, like yeah, Icicle, and I believe they also have Thunderblade. Oh, well, that was easy enough. The Healer will, of course, heal, and the Plancetta, I don't even know. I don't know if there's anything special with those, to be honest. There's also some other enemies, like uh, like you have one guy called the Warrior. Oh god, that looks creepy. Ugh, monster, monster face with very sharp teeth. <laughs> yeah, you have the Warrior, as it's called, which will, of course, uh, physical attack you, but he has pretty low HP, if I remember correctly. But there's also a very very special enemy called Impulse. You can meet up with him in here, but chances are you will not. He is very rare in here. You will probably meet up with him outside though, on the Ether Sphere. The Impulse is immune to every elemental attack in the game. You need to attack him with non-elemental skills, like uh, Tiger Blade and stuff like that. Anyway, yeah, this is definitely different. <laughs> we have this thing. Uh, yes, we have a battle. Thank you. Thank you, game. <laughs> oh, there's the warrior, too. Yeah, not really that strong, and they don't really have much to do, and the healer... Oh, god, really? I actually didn't remember that, that the healer can also cast spells on you. Huh, okay. I guess I should take you a little bit more seriously than Mr. Healer. I like Fear Flare. I'm not a huge fan of the sound it makes when it hits, it just... It sounds like they get punched a little bit in the face. But, uh... Oh, oh yeah, there he healed, finally. <laughs> but it's a very... Very cool looking and very powerful spell, so I'm not complaining. Looks a little bit better in Eternia, though, when it actually looks like... Small meteors. <laughs> there we go. One stab in the eye and he goes down. Yeah, I thought I had to... Ooh, fine saber. Yeah, the warriors can drop some weapons for you. Nothing really good, though. But, uh, as you saw, I changed my party around a little bit. I haven't used Rudy and Philia in a while, so, yeah, why not? I mean, the two others, they will do okay, but they will die very, very fast. So why not? Anyway, we have this thing. Nothing happened. This is a teleporter that will open up later on. Okay, let's go on to this thing, and you will see why this place can be a little bit confusing at times. Yeah, <laughs> look at this. This is a mess. I do really like how it looks, but oh dear god, is this place confusing. <laughs> Thankfully though, I do know my way around in this place pretty well, and... Well, I also really like the 3D-ish effect they have going on here. Very nice, very nice. Where we got a Thunder Scepter, which is a stick. Woohoo! <laughs> Weapon for Philia, which I won't give her because she got Clement. Which kind of, what's the point anyway, having a Thunder Scepter, which will pretty much take away her 
I'm able to use magic. Oh, these things! These things will... <laughs> yeah, that's clever of me. These things! Yeah, these things. They will cast spells at you, and that's basically all they can do. They are just like the crystals back in Surrealized Temple. The spells they cast, though, I sadly can't remember, but I bet we get to see some of them. Probably. Let's see... Air's letter... Oh, what's that? But sometimes they just stand there. I never really got that. I had a battle with five of these things, I think, and they never did a thing. I even stopped attacking just to see if they would do anything. But no, they didn't. I don't know what's up with those guys, but... They can cast spells, but apparently very rarely. Don't know why. It's almost like they forgot to uh, program them or something. Anyway, let's go over to this elevator and get this overall G. Okay, that's not bad. Ooh, talking about G, by the way. The G spot. Yeah, no, 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 no. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, Monster Hunter 4G. That is all. Slash Ultimate. Can't freaking wait! <laughs> I can't finally get to fight Guamagara. Yay! And G-Rank 2. Oh, I'm so hyped. I'm so freaking hyped. <laughs> anyway, back to this game. I'm gonna use the Holy Bottle. Uh, I mean, I... People say that there's no... Oh, that was... That was... That was wrong. People say that there's no games on the Wii U that... Well, you really want to play for hours and hours. Well, I played Monster Hunter Tri Ultimate for over 600 hours now, so yeah, suck it. <laughs> anyway, here we get ASV numbers, 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 180. Yeah, pretty good disc. Which I want to give to Gar, but sadly, of course, Glitchy will not take discs. It's kind of sad, really. Really wish he could, but oh well. As I said before, he won't get stats, so a disc would really help him, but. I guess it wasn't meant to be. Don't worry though, when we get the real Ignatos back, oh, it's gonna be glorious. What, will le what level is he? Oh, it doesn't say because, okay. He's not supposed to have him equipped yet, I see. Oh well, I guess I can't complain though. He's gonna get a lot of experience when he actually comes back. <laughs> oh, great, these things. It's just the QB tomb and the thing that just died, I didn't see the name of. The QB tombs can teleport. And <laughs> they actually have a pretty fun attack if they fly above you, because they will pretty much throw you to the ground. <laughs> it looks weird, but eh. They, they basically just stomp on you. And you get and you uh, get knocked down to the ground. Looks a little bit weird, but oh well. Oh, I was... I know that Philly has close to level. Yeah, pretty damn close. And I think also she will get a new spell. That's why I'm kind of waiting for it. <laughs> anyway, let's go out here. Yes, we are now outside. It would be kind of creepy and scary to be honest. But anyway, we get another emerald ring, which I am going to get to Philia. It's time to start spamming Philia spells even more. Oh dear, I can't wait. <laughs> Let's see, we are actually not far away from uh, ending our first trip here, I mean. Okay, here we get a Miracle Gel. Not bad, not bad. I really want to show you guys the Impulse enemy, but I guess it's not meant to be. But what it w what was meant to be is that Philia or... Wait, what? Oh, oh, Clement got a level up, apparently. And he got the new spell, which was Holy... Frickin' lance! Pierces the enemy with a with countless lances made from light. Awesome! Love holy lances. One of my favorite spells or light elemental spells in the series. Can't say favorite spell, I mean nothing is gonna take away take that place from indignation, though I will say that. No chance. But that's everything we want to do on this uh, well level, I guess. I don't really know what to say, but since it's... Oh, no, I'm going the wrong way here, I think. No, I'm not! Damn! <laughs> yeah, I totally know this place, don't I? Ay, ay, ay. Okay, let's ignore you. We do not want to go on that thing, actually. Instead, we want to go down to this one. Really, game? Really? Hi. 
Actually, I want to use this opportunity to let's show off Holy Lands. That is, if she can actually get it off. I don't know. Would be nice. Oh, that was not her. <laughs> let's see. Let's try that again. Holy Lands. Will they actually? Be? Yes, they will. Ah. I was hoping there would be a huge lance in the middle there. In the middle of all of that. It's usually how it goes. Yeah, hold on, that's in this game. It doesn't look that cool, but... Uh, well, the power should probably take priority over how cool it looks, I'll say. And if you use it against Leon, it would just massacre the poor guy. Since I don't know if he's weak to light, but he is technically dark, a little bit dark elemental. So I don't really know how they count that, but uh, Holy Lance will sadly rip through the guy. <laughs> Any anyway, we should probably fly off here, but guess not. We get a silver plate and a miracle gel. Okay, I'm gonna use one. Let's see, silver plate, I gotta give to Gar. Stand apparently have one already, okay. Uh, yeah, let's do that, just for the TP. And the miracle gel, not bad. How good is the silver plate anyway? Yeah, he got one. Let's see. 120. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Okay, let's... Uh, I think actually that was the final treasure chest here. So now we want to just leg it to the end, pretty much. And then this... Well, right here. <laughs> or is it? Am I the right place now? Yes, I am. Okay. I didn't remember there was a door there, but okay. Whew! I'm so good at scaring myself. Ah... <sighs> Why can't the impulse enemies pop up? I want to show them. Hey, anyway, here we get a S sword. I can't remember what the S stands for. Oh, it's the Slayer Sword, right. This magical sword was created to kill every living thing, or every li living being, <laughs> in this world. It sounds incredibly badass, and it's actually also pretty powerful. 300, 330 hit, and it's Earth Elemental. Not bad. Yes, this is the same Slayer Sword that we got in Daos' castle back in Fantasia. Cool! <laughs> and it was good for Gar, but that's of course because Glitchy is pretty much statless. Anyway, the warp gate has been destroyed? What? No. Perhaps. No, we can't be. What is it, Dimlos? The gate is connected to Diecroft and three other major, major Aeropolises. Aeropolises? Wow. It's too much for a coincidence that to believe that the gate was destroyed by accident. Did someone intentionally destroy it? Come on, it's obvious someone's trying to make life difficult for us. Yeah, they're being good at that pretty much the whole game through. But we won't be able to go any further without using the gate. We have to come up with another plan. Then, let's return to Radisol and consult Riker. And thankfully, we get teleported right back. Whew, thank god. <laughs> what happened? Riker, the warp gate to Diecroft has been destroyed. What? Ah, they're one step ahead of us. Is there another way? I shouldn't say there isn't. What do we have to do? Tell us! Travel across the ether sphere to infiltrate Neuropolis. Over the ether sphere? I think that's their blind spot. Really? Now that the warp gate has been destroyed, there is, is, there is only one way to reach Dycroft. What is it? We have to use the Sky Cruiser in Mikhail. The Sky Cruiser? Can't we can't we walk over the Aether Sphere to Dycroft? This is where we are now. Yeah, we know that. Unfortunately, there is no way to reach Dycroft by land. By the way, what is a Sky Cruiser? I never heard of it. Think of it think of it as a smaller version of Draconis. A Sky Cruiser provides short distance aerial transportation. How did you become the freaking expert? I mean, you, you've been here for like, how long? A day or two? And now you know everything? Pfft! 
Okay, we got the point. Really? Oh, shut up. So, we can reach Dicroft if we have one of those, right? Not exactly. But you have to enter Dicroft from Belkran's launch port. Well, I guess nothing is simple. No, that is for damn sure. So be it. We don't have a choice. This is where we are now. Yeah, we know! Sheesh! How dumb do you think we are? You should be able to reach Mikhail through an Oropolis named Josiah. Oh boy, Josiah. I've been dreading that place. To reach Josiah, you should be able to use a warp gate in Ignacy, which should still be functional. Should or is? I guess we just have to check out ourselves. Sure, sure. Good luck to you all. An inn moved in from Tattershead using the anti-grav elevator. You should check out some... You should check it out sometime. Yeah, I was joking about that last time and... Well, it was a, it was a reason for that. <laughs> People will start moving in, in into Radisol after a while. After story things happen. So now we have an inn but it's kind of pointless since we uh, since we have the healing pods, but I guess the inn is closer to the exit, so that's something. Yeah, it's this room that I showed before with the beds. Let's see, 30 gold? Well, that's not bad. I mean, 30 gold or a longer walking distance? I, I guess it's a fair trade. Shouldn't complain, I guess. There will be more shops, though, and... Well, they, they, get, they will get better, definitely. <laughs> But, we now want to go back to the Ignacy. There is another teleporter that we can go to. But, uh, I am gonna end this off here now, I think. We are already up to like 20 minutes, so... I don't want the ad episode to be incredibly long. So next time, we are gonna go back to the Ignacy and try to find the warp to Josiah. Oh, huh, Josiah. We'll probably also start that place. I don't know yet. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> So, I thank you all for watching, and I see you all then.